My name is Emilio Ferrara. I am a research assistant professor of computer science and a research team leader at the USC Information Sciences Institute. Today we are going to talk about the history of digital spam. The term spam derives from a 1970 comedy sketch on Monty Python. And since then, the word spam in our collective vocabulary acquired the meaning of something uh, unwanted or unsolicited, almost like something that is forcefully fed upon us. I don't like spam! spam, 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 spam Interestingly spam. enough, there is no universally acknowledged definition of spam. It varies a lot across domains of application. Um, in my paper, I propose a general definition of spam uh, as the production and injection of uh, unsolicited or undesired content in a system. This uh, is done to elicit a response from the system's users uh, that brings a direct benefit to the spammers. Uh, believe it or not, the first instance of spam was reported over a century ago, in 1898. Uh, the New York Times at that time reported about unsolicited letters that were delivered by postmail, indeed, uh, suggesting that the recipient had received a large monetary inheritance except that to claim it, uh, the recipient had to pay an advance fee. Today's incarnation of the same old swindle is commonly referred to as the Nigerian Prince scam and is a very popular example of a scam perpetrated via large email spam campaigns. Since then, uh, spam has evolved and new forms of spam emerge uh, at a constant rate uh, when new technologies become popular. Hey everyone! Today is my first day back in the office after taking parental leave. One really modern-day example of spam is the so-called deepfakes. Proofs of concept of this powerful technology uh, have already been demonstrated in the context of policy and politics. Uh, videos of prominent political leaders were reenacted uh, with arbitrary speeches, and even Mark Zuckerberg was targeted by one of such attacks. First, let me say this. I care deeply about the democratic process and protecting its integrity. Deepfakes are one example of creating new forms of spam using new AI technologies. Both issues of safe and fair AI and how these relate to spam are active and lively research topics these days. Mm -hmm.